In this video, I will show you how to run chi-square tests in Jamovi. Let us first open our data file. And here we have a number of variables measured at a nominal scale. We're going to use the variable sex and home language for this example. To run a chi-square analysis, we go into frequencies, contingency tables, chi-square test of association for independent samples. We pull or send one of our nominal level variables into the rows. So I'm gonna send sex to the rows here and home language selected into the columns. This is the chi-square test. This is the value of the chi-square in the same way that is calculated in the example videos. And this is the associated p-value for one degree of freedom as expected for a two by two table. So this is how you replicate the analyses that are done in the examples. If you have actual data to analyze and you have such small counts, it is advisable to use the continuity correction. So if in your masters you have numbers like this, you should probably use this line instead, which accounts for the fact that the counts aren't really continuous because you cannot have values between one or two persons, but the chi-square curve is continuous. From the same menu of the chi-square analysis, you can also find the box for calculating the indices of association, namely the phi coefficient and Kramer's V, which are calculated right here on the basis of the same contingency table. As you can see from these results, there is a moderate association between the variables sex and minority language. And this association is statistically significant. Thus, you can reject the null hypothesis that assumes random sampling from even proportions and conclude that these two variables are in fact related. This is the way to conduct a chi-square test when you have variables over a list of cases such as in this data set. If you only have counts, you don't need to add one row for each unit. You can just enter the different combinations of variables and the associated counts. Let me show you how to do that. So if this is our sex variable, and this is our language variable, home language, There are four different combinations, female majority, female minority, male majority, and male minority. Then these correspond to the four cells in our two by two contingency matrix. The number of girls with a majority home language in that sample was 24. The number of girls with a minority home language was one. And for boys, the numbers were seven, uh, 15 and seven. These are the exact data from the previous table. So in order to analyze these, you go again into the chi-square test of association you enter sex and home language as before, but you also enter the counts. This results in exactly the same table and exactly the same statistics. 
If you want to run a simple test of proportions on a single variable, you can very easily do that in Jamovi. For example, if you want to replicate the test in the example shown in the video, where we had observed supposedly 36 men and 24 women, Then we can go into the number of outcomes, again, the chi-square, but this time not under contingency tables, but under one sample proportion test, and enter the labels into variable and the counts into counts. And so this is the result that was shown in the video, the one that was calculated manually. 